I want to show you a cool trick today. Did you know that you can actually edit files on your server? And what I mean by that is, I don't mean just like moving them on and off. I'm talking about actually editing, editing them live on your server. It's a cool trick and it's it can save you a lot of time. Um, let me show you how to do it. I've got CyberDuck open right here and I'm going to open up a new connection. I'm going to go to RoboBunny Attack and let's get that password in there. Okay, I'll connect. And okay, so we've got our connection open and we're gonna go inside sa Sandbox. And of course we don't have anything at the top level here, but we do have inside the coming soon folder. Let's go back here. Inside here, we've got this information right here. Let's say I wanted to change, I don't know, I wanted to just change one of the words inside here or something like that. Or let's say my email address changed and I wanted to change it, okay? Um, here's what we can do. The first thing we're gonna do, cause I mean, normally, Normally, this is what I see people do. What they do is they go into here and then they would open up, you know, index inside, inside, to, we're using Text Wrangler, okay? Um, and then Text Wrangler is gonna start, see, I'm doing it the long way to impress upon you how, how tedious this is. And then let's say I wanted to change, I just wanted to add, oh, what was it that we wanted to do? We wanted to change the, uh, Oh, let's say the email address. We want to change that to contact. Let's say we want to do that instead. Contact. And then we'd save that. And then we'd close that. And then we'd, you know, upload that back there. That's the long, tedious, boring way. Let me show you the cool, fast way to do this. Um, it involves a little bit of configuration in CyberDuck, but it's very useful to do. The first thing you're going to do in CyberDuck is you're going to go to your preferences pane. That's just under so the CyberDuck menu. Click on preferences. Okay. And then if this, whoops, what did I do here? I unclicked that by accident. Don't worry about that. Um, if this is shorter like that, you can stretch the open okay and those those little options there the option that we're looking for is editor so the pencil so click on that and what we want to do here is under editor we select a text editor to open files with by default if no other application installed can be found to edit a given file type we're going to pick text wrangler because that's the program that we're using to edit HTML and CSS files right and I'm going to click always use this application okay once that's done there's nothing else you need to do you just close that window and check this out. If let's say that I wanted to edit this index.html file, see what happened there? As soon as I selected it, and by selecting it, you gotta just click once, don't double click. I cannot emphasize this enough. I see this, see students make this mistake all the time, but they'll, they'll double click on a file. And it's like, no, just click once, resist the urge, okay? So we click once, and as soon as I click once on it, ah, this icon looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the text wrangler icon. And so now, check out how cool this is. Now what I can do is I can click this button with, with the file that I want to edit selected. I click the edit button and what's happening is that all that stuff that happened in the background, it downloaded the file in the background sort of to this temporary location. Okay, and now I can go in here and I, I can make the change here. I can hit contact and I can change this to contact. And now all I have to do, see how this black dot here indicates to me, Text Wrangler is still working the same way, basically saying, hey, you have unsafe changes. As soon as I hit save, watch what happens. Okay, first of all, before I do that, I wanna show you something right here. It says index.html, and it says that it was mass modified today at 10.27 a.m. Oh, by the way, that's cause that's Pacific time and I'm, I'm in Eastern time here. Okay, so it says that. 1027. Check this out. As soon as I hit save, watch what happens. I hit save. All right. Now let's switch back to CyberDoc. And remember the refresh button? Let's hit refresh. Look what happened. Now it says that it was last modified at 1034. Okay. Or just a minute ago. Okay. And uh, most importantly, let's go back to Chrome and let's reload this. And we're looking at the email right here. Let's just hit reload. Boom, see that? We just made that edit live on the fly and we did not have to upload and download anything. Well, I mean, technically the computer uploaded and downloaded a file, but it all it did it all in the background and we didn't have to worry about doing that. When you're making small edits, it really makes sense to do that. The reason I really like, even for, to be honest, even for bigger edits, I, I kind of like doing it that way because then I don't get mix, mixed up and I'm not trying to figure out, well, which one is the original one and where did I make my last edits and blah, blah, blah. You can really get messed up. I like having the one section, I mean, with a backup, of course, but I like having the one 
site that I'm editing up online and then you can just zip in, make a couple changes, save and get out. Okay, uh, I hope that that was useful to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.